Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's iFixit video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the storage in the Acer Aspire A515-45 series. Uh, I have with me the HDD upgrade kit. This conveniently came with the laptop when I bought it. Uh, it comes with eight screws, a bracket, which I've already applied onto my storage that I'm gonna be putting in, and the cable that you're gonna need to plug in the hard drive. So let's get started. So, uh, I've removed the 11 perimeter screws. Um, there's three on the middle as well. Uh, that will allow us to lift up on this back panel. There's nothing connected to this, so I'm just gonna put it over to one side. Uh, the first important step is the battery. So under this black piece of tape here, there's gonna be a battery connector. So let's lift up on that. And we're just gonna gently pull on this. And that's it, our battery is disconnected. That means it's now safe to work on this machine. So I'm gonna zoom back out quickly. I'm gonna zoom in to the sort of important area here that we're gonna be working on today, which is this top left section of the laptop. So first of all, let's remove this Wi-Fi card here, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. It's gonna be one screw, take that out, lift up, and gently wiggle side to side. And we're just gonna put that just to one side of the laptop. We don't wanna really do too much with that because it's not gonna get much in our way. Lift up on the latch here, this little black tab. Pull this out and again, put this to one side. What we're doing here is essentially just giving us, you know, a bit more space to work on this computer, which is exactly what we want. Now, so with this bracket, I haven't actually screwed this hard drive in. Uh, you have your hard drive. I'm actually using a, uh, a hard drive that I pulled out my old Mac. Um, you guys don't have to do this. Uh, I actually recommend buying some solid state storage as that's actually a lot better than what this is going to be. Um, but what you'll do is make sure the screw holes line up, as you can see, they do on mine. And make sure the connector kind of points out the end where it can. As you can see the other side, it's not gonna be able to do that. Um, so let's get these four screws in. So we have eight screws in this little packet, but uh, we're gonna wanna use the right ones for the hard drive, which are these sort of thicker ones. So I'll show you. These are the ones that you're gonna be wanting to use. As you can see, they're sort of thick. Uh, these are for the hard drive bracket. And then these sort of much thinner, smaller ones are the ones that you're gonna wanna be using to actually attach this bracket inside of this machine. So let's get these screwed in. So there's going to be a total of four. There's one. Uh, it helps having a magnetic screwdriver in a situation like this. I'm actually using my iFixit toolkit. So let's get these screwed in. One, two. There's a third one. And here's the fourth one. Here we go. So the next step, let's plug in our cable. Um, this is quite easy. As you can see, they've already kind of put like a little bend in the cable. So I'm just gonna follow through with that. And I'm just gonna sort of bend that in the direction that they've already bent it in. And that's gonna leave us with this. So we're gonna plug in the connector into this port here. So we're gonna lift up on the white flap this time. Let's use our nail. We'll just gently place this in. Um, there's kind of slots for the two blue tabs. So let's just, just like that, push it down and here we are, done. Next step, this is quite easy. Uh, we'll line uh, this metal hole up here, we'll line it up and we'll place our hard drive in. One second. And then we're gonna get our four screws that we have left over and we're going to screw this down. So there's just four holes, one. I'll zoom out for the, oh. 
the next two. So there's one, two, move this down, three, and then four. Let's get these in. So let's get this connector connected. Done. It's literally as easy as that. And I actually really, um, I'm quite fond of Acer for doing this. Uh, they provided this kit with the laptop, which is, I mean, is already better than the majority of. Uh, let's get this motherboard connected down. Let's get our Wi-Fi card plugged back in and screwed back down with that screw. Let's plug our battery back in and we will be finished guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them down in the comments. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe.